and shit like this. How the hell are you going to drive 40 miles an hour on the goddamn interstate? What the hell's wrong with you, you dumbass redneck? And get off the phone! Okay, so it's not a friggin' interstate. It's a four-lane highway, though, and the speed limit's 65 back there. Assholes doing 40 miles an hour. What's up with that? You know, I'm guilty of talking on the phone sometimes when I'm driving. I don't like to do it. But is there some kind of friggin' magnetic device that when some people get on the damn phone driving, their foot just automatically pulls away from the gas pedal? What's up with that? If you can't drive and talk on the damn phone at the same time, put that shit in the case, turn it off, wait till you get home. Ugh. Dill hole. Old Big Ball Daddy with you on a nice, crisp, clear, beautiful Sunday afternoon. Not a cloud in the sky. No chance of rain whatsoever today. First thing I want to do today is give a shout out to Daddy Tech. Also, a big shout out to Chad. Chad, I got the shirt in the mail yesterday you sent me. I appreciate the hell out of it. AK Brown. Just met a girl back here at uh, Ingalls. Stopped to get some laundry detergent. And I picked up the Sporting News preseason magazine. But anyway, to put my magazine and my laundry detergent up on the counter or whatever and this girl rubs Mark Ingram he's on the cover she goes that's my man and I thought oh god not another bammer this girl's like Asian or something her name was Takia T-E-Q-U-I-A or something real nice sweet young little girl you know getting ready to start college um, she was talking about how big the University of Alabama is, you know, that it, she'd never want to go to school there because it's just so big. So anyway, A.K. Brown, I'm talking to this girl. She's talking about Alabama and everything, and as it turns out, she's from Jacksonville, Alabama. And I was like, well, I'll be down. I just happen to know somebody from Jacksonville. In fact, he just did a video on the town of Jacksonville not too long ago. So anyway, I directed her to your videos. Brown, I don't know if she'll go watch them or not, but shout out to you, buddy. I want to go off on a little rant here, if I may. Well, of course I may. It's my friggin' video. I want to talk about Mexicans. Now, let me preface this little rant by saying I'm not prejudiced against any human race. In fact, I have equal hate for every race. I can hate a Mexican just as much as I can hate a black guy, just as much as I can hate a redneck, just as much as I can hate a Jewish guy, an Italian guy, a freaking Tennessee guy, a Louisiana guy. I can hate you all just the same. You know, when we're talking about Alabamers, the hate goes up a notch, but that's a different topic for another video. I'm at the flea market today, and I'm noticing, it seems like I'm noticing more and more Mexicans every week. And I got no problem at all with Mexicans moving to this country. Hell, where would you and I be if our ancestors hadn't migrated to America from wherever they came from? People that I descend from happen to be from Scotland and Ireland and uh, Germany. And... But the biggest majority of my people are from right here. Right here in good old East Tennessee and West North Carolina from a little area they call Cherokee. My grandfather on my mother's side was full-blooded Cherokee Indian. My grandmother on my mother's side was half Cherokee Indian. I don't know what that 
that breaks down to but that makes old BBD quite a bit of Indian. I've never under oh, I'm getting off topic here. Mexicans. I got no problem with Mexicans coming to our country. But here's the thing, guys. Do the shit legally. Go to wherever you gotta go. Sign up to be an American. Take the little I wanna be an American test. Do whatever it is that our government requires of you to become a citizen of this country. It just pisses me off that these people can come up here by the friggin' U-Haul truckload, you know, and, and work and make money in a lot of cases, not have to pay taxes. Now, I don't know. Am I wrong in this line of thinking? Now, no, it doesn't really affect my life at all, so when you get right down to it, it shouldn't matter to me whatsoever. It, to me, it's just another form of somebody trying to get over. You know, quit trying to get over. Do the shit legally. Hell, we'll accept you. Our government will take you right in. Hug your neck and say, Welcome to America. Here's what you owe. Take this test and we'll call you one of us. Don't get pissed off when you get busted doing something illegal other than just showing up and you get your ass deported back to Mexico. Because you know you're just going to hop back on another fucking U-Haul uh, truck and ride your ass right back up here. So no whining allowed, Mexicans. Now I'm sure this is going to piss somebody off I have a way of pissing somebody off. You know, hell, even my own fan base. I, a lot of them hate me. For one reason or another. For some reason, people don't tend to like people that speak their mind and don't and, and tell how they feel. I've never understood that. I would much rather a man look me in the eye and say, BBD, I don't like you. I don't like your attitude. I don't like what you stand for. I hate the color orange. Fuck you. I'd rather somebody do that than say, Oh gosh, Big Ball Daddy, you sure are a great guy. It's great to get to know you. I love you. Would you be my friend? And then when they get home, yeah, that fat, toothless motherfucking hillbilly ass Big Ball Daddy, I can't stand that son of a bitch. Don't do that shit, guys. Tell somebody straight up, look, you suck. Or tell somebody straight up, hey, you're pretty cool. You know? Now I know there's some things you don't want to say to people because you either don't want to hurt their feelings or, uh, you know, there's some areas that are just sensitive. Boy, I'm all over the place with this one, ain't I? Anyway, that's what I've got for today. Like me, love me, hate me, hunt me. Don't matter. You click start, you click stop. You can watch all of my videos you can kiss my big, fat, hairy, toothless, inbred, insert East Tennessee stereotype here, ass. Well, congratulations to Georgia. They took uh, Florida and sent them packing. However, it would appear that uh, somebody sent them packing. I missed it all. But I'm watching the Tennessee game right now. They're getting beat by Arizona. It's the bottom of the third. They're down three to nothing. Um, and the winner of this Tennessee wins this game. They take on UCLA tomorrow night in game one of the championship series. If they lose this afternoon, they turn around and play Arizona again tonight to see who has the right to play UCLA tomorrow. So come on, Tennessee. Make me look right. Carry that banner. You are the last team standing in the SEC in the Ladies College World Series, like I said. But you got to do something with it now, girls. Get out there and get her done.